Visio 2010 offers you quite a few different possibilities for linking the shapes in your connected diagrams together with connectors. So let's just take a moment now and look at a few of those ways, some of the more common ways that you're likely to use. So we'll start a basic flowchart. Just hit the Create button here, and up comes the typical thing. Let's turn off the rulers just for fun, a little bit more space on the screen. And typically you would start with a starter end shape, maybe type start on it just for fun. And we'll zoom in just a little bit so we can see better what we're working with. Now when I move over a shape in a connected diagram, you'll see the, the auto connect arrows appear north, south, east, and west. I don't have to actually select the shape to get those, just hover over them. And once I go over to one of the arrows, you'll see I'll get the little mini toolbar that allows me to pick between one of four shapes, one of the quick shapes. You can see at the top of the stencil on the left. So let's just insert a decision diamond. You can see Visio's aligned it and spaced it nicely for us. If I move the shape around, you can see it stays connected and Visio finds the, the closest sides to each shape and keeps them linked together. I can put it back using the auto align and space and alignment functions, so little orange things there. And you'll notice that the connector is a 1D shape. You can see if I select it, it's got just two handles at the beginning and the end. The red indicates they're glued. If I were to, pull, say, pull one off, one end off, you can see the, the unconnected end turns blue. So let's just put it back there. Let's see. Another way to connect shapes is to just drag one onto the page. Let's say we just put a custom two shape out here. Now, a lot of times you do this, you don't think about connecting, and you say, oh, now I've got to go back and connect them. So there's a few different ways to do that. And one of those ways is just to get the connector tool on the Home tab. So you can click on that, and you'll notice that as you hover over shapes, you get nice red highlighting that says, click here and you'll glue the connector to me. So I can bring it over here, look for the big rectangle on the new shape, let them go, and voila, we've got it there. Switch back to the pointer tool, and let's just double check how that works. You can see. Again, Visio is gluing the closest sides together, which is nice. You can also grab the connector and reposition it and connect it specifically to a to a side by looking for these little blue connection points you see there. So let's let's move that up there and you'll see that no matter what I do with the shape, the connector comes in to the top because I've specifically said glue it to the top of that shape by gluing it to that connection point. So that's a point to point glue whereas on the diamond, we have a dynamic glue. The connector wanders around to the nearest side. But on the custom two shape, we're always connected at the top. And that's reflected also in the handles. The dynamic glue has bigger red handles on the connector, and the point-to-point -point glue has smaller, smaller red handles. Let's see. If you drag another shape onto the page, another way to connect to existing shapes, instead of going to the connector tool, you can just hover over a shape and pull a connector straight out of the blue arrow. It's almost like you've switched to the connector tool for just a second, and when you let it go, you're back to the pointer tool. So it's just sort of a temporary connector mode. Now I can move that around and it stays connected as usual, and if I actually hit the delete key on the shape, you'll notice that the connector incoming disappears with the shape too. Now there's an option for turning that off, but generally that makes a lot of sense. If you've added text to the connector, Visio will leave it alone because Visio figures you've modified it and you should probably keep it. But again, that's that's pretty it's pretty useful that you can just you don't have to delete the shape and the connector along with it. So there that goes. And one other method for connecting shapes that you run into quite a lot is you say, oh, we actually need a step uh, to add a step between this shape and this shape. And in the past, you would have had to remove the connector, connect it to this shape, then add another connector in there to um, get it all working. So quite a few steps to get it to happen, adding connectors, removing connections and stuff. In Visio 2010, you can just move your shape over an existing connector until you see those little red dots show up. And those say, okay, I'm going to split this connector and help you do everything automatically. So when we do that, you can see that Visio's kept the incoming connector but moved it to the new shape and added another outgoing connector to the next one. So let's undo that for a second and just make a more interesting case where the shapes are close together. 
Now I can, you can see I still get the thread handles now that I'm over the connector, but in this case Visio actually slides the shapes apart. So that's an overview of the, the basics of connecting in Visio 2010. Even in this short video you've seen quite a few different ways to get it done, but uh, play around with it and have fun with it. It's pretty interesting and it's just getting steadily better with every release of Visio, so have fun.